Good evening and thank you for joining us for Kremlin News at 5 tonight. I'm Mark Hanrahan and I'm Whitney Ward. Thank you for being here. Calling law enforcement should be a last resort for local schools. That's according to some policy and procedure documents from Spokane Public Schools. Kremlin 2 has been investigating the district's response to violence impacting our children at local schools. Recently, the Spokane Police Department and Spokane Public Schools exchanged strongly worded letters with police alleging the school district has a culture of not calling police when violence occurs. Now, police, parents and teachers have all talked to Krem2 this month with concerns about on-campus crime reporting and lack of law enforcement on campus. Then Krem2 also obtained the most recent draft of some procedures being considered by the district as it relates to reporting crimes. Krem2 is Laura Papetti joining us live now with a more in-depth look at those documents. Laura? That's right. Tonight we are referring to the school procedure document regarding district and campus safety. Originally adopted in 2017, the district said the document is currently being updated and was just shared with the school board. Though the copy we have is updated on March 9th of this year, the one posted on the school district's website is still the old document and the old policy. So we have pulled some highlights that are specific to reporting crimes that happen on campus. And this is the document that was just amended. It's a procedural document. It references no law enforcement officer or campus safety specialist shall be requested to act as a school disciplinarian saying Disciplining students is the responsibility of the school principal. It also says effective in the 2020-21 school year, SPS administrators shall prioritize and document alternatives to police involvement, such as a use of restorative practices and use law enforcement as the absolute last resort. So the document again is a procedure change that was presented at a school board meeting this month and is signed by Superintendent Adam Swinyard and says it was amended on March 9th. Well, just a few days later, we interviewed the district's communication director and she said the school district does indeed encourage reporting crimes to police. So whenever there is an assault on a student, immediately our staff steps in to um, obviously to investigate and right away we call the Spokane, Spokane Police Department to make sure that they're there. And then once they arrive, they take on that investigation. So if there's ever an issue with any assault on schools or on a student at a school, um, teachers should definitely feel safe to call 911. So there is no policy in which teachers are, are told, don't call 911 come to us first no i believe there's no policy with that and do you does the district want to reiterate that 911 needs to be called 911 needs to be called anytime there's an assault on a student or a staff member period period so we've been reading through the old and new documents as it relates again to the procedure and policies and it was all posted on the spokane public school website we've been working through it all afternoon but shortly after a report on at four o'clock, we went to the public school website and noticed that that specific procedure and policy as it relates to law enforcement on school campuses has been pulled at this point. So we are posting both the current procedures and the proposed procedures on CREM.com. We invite you to go there and check it out.